I'm Fox 4's Anvar Ruziev here in Port Charlotte, right outside of the Sunseeker Resort. This ambitious, nearly $700 million resort hopes to put Port Charlotte on the map as a tourist destination. Now, two weeks into its grand opening, we find out how it's impacting this community. It's more customer, yeah, definitely. It's more customer. Dimitri Laura owns a nail shop right across the bridge from the new Sunseeker Resort and says that she's noticed more customers in her store ever since the resort opened. She says that the people on vacation are stopping by to get their nails done. Right next door is another small business that hopes the tourists will also find their way inside. Anytime someone comes to this town on vacation, they want to see the small town uh, local businesses. That's what we thrive off here in Punta Gorda, and I think we're going to be okay. And it's not only the tourists that are taking advantage of the surroundings. One of the most popular attractions for the people who call this home is the waterfront walk from Bayshore Live Oak Park to Live Oak Point. I've started walking on this side of the bridge almost every day. Start on this side and walk all the way to Sunseekers, go past Sunseekers, go under the bridge, and it connects another park. The scenic walk takes you past the seven restaurants and 11 bars and lounges that the resort offers. The path is open to everyone, and the neighbors here don't pass up on the offer. As the sun sets and the beaches draw on visitors, the business owners and residents here seem to welcome this grand addition to the Charlotte County economy. Reporting from Port Charlotte, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.